kind of just figured I'd check in with y'all before I uh, headed out to do some fishing today. It is July 15th. Um, it's summer. I'm down at school for the summer, working out here, and uh, it's Saturday, so I figured I'd do a little bit of bass fishing on some of the ponds around here. Um, I'm filming with my new GoPro 4 session, and I hope it uh, captures everything and gives you guys kind of a look into what's going on today. So I'm going to head out to the pond right, there, right now, and uh, once I get out there, I'll kind of explain what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys the pond, and... Uh, Hopefully we'll get things rolling. All right, I'll see you guys. here all right guys I'm uh, I'm finally at my spot it's just a uh, basically it's just a small neighborhood pond about two acres um, just kind of located in the in the middle of just like a neighborhood and I've fished this place one other time and I've had decent luck here aren't huge bass in here but I've caught some two and a half three pounders um, what I'll be fishing with today is what I fished last time. It is the uh, Quantum Smoke Rig here with a Samurai Rod. <laughs> I'm fishing an uh, 8 pound test and my favorite thing here is when these, uh, when these ponds aren't too weedy, you got some open water. I really like using uh, the number 3 uh, MEPS Aglia Spinners. And today I've got both the white tails and the neon green tails. The neon green has been working okay, but I've been doing the best on, on the white so far. Here's kind of a little pan of the, of the pond I'm about to be fishing. And as you guys might notice, I have this weird little thing on my chest here. It's basically just a, a chest mount for my... Uh, hero for session and it'll kind of give you guys a look into what I'm seeing and what I'm catching so I'll put you guys on and we'll see what we can do Why I like this part of the lake so much is that there's this drop off right here and uh, a lot of the times, this is where I caught a lot of the bass last time, just kind of casting off this deeper edge and there's a couple spots along the edge of the shore where there's the uh, deep water signs and 
seem to be wherever I hit those were, were the best spots last time. So I'm just starting off on one of these little deeper water ledges right here and uh, gonna see what happens. Oh, right there. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a go again. Oh, I flipped off. Oh, right there. Got one. This is weird. Last time I was fishing here, I couldn't pull them out of the brush at all now that's, that's all I'm catching decent one looks like another pound and a half -er. it's a nice fish dark green back he goes The only problem with this side of the pond, it's a little sh more shallow. I saw fish uh, breaking the surface over here, but it's hard to tell if they're bass or bluegills or something smaller. There's one. about a pound and a half. It's nice to have two colors of this map. It seems like one, one's kind of turning off. You can always switch to a different color in it. It'll pick the action back up, so it's a good, good thing to have in the arsenal. That's a, that's a better one. Woo, he threw it. Come on. Dang it. That was a decent fish right there. Let's 
give it another go. Let's see if see if we get another one of those. Come on. Dang it. Gosh, that was a nice fish. It happens though. Oh, there we go. There's another one. It's a little bit smaller, but still nice. Hot spot. Mips number three silver coming in coming in handy. Nice little train in the background. Pretty scenery. Oh, and a fish and a nice bass. There we go. It's a jumper. Look at all those bait fish just running. That's so cool. It's a little better sized one too. I'd say he's probably a two, two and a half maybe. Maybe two. It looks more like a two. One and a half, two. That's a big fish. That feels like a nice one. Gotta keep them low. That feels like a good fish. Feels like a real good fish. That is a nice one. It's a good one. I'd say that's a that's a good two, two and a half. Pushing three pounds right there. Good one, best one I've caught so far. That's awesome. Fish are breaking the surface right here. A little shallower over there. I'm gonna try and keep it a little higher. Oh, you see that? That was so cool. Hit right on the top of the water right there. That's awesome. He's a decent one. That's why I think top water would be great here, just because it's a little weedier and with how shallow they are and the bait it seems like is hopping off on the surface so you could throw just, uh, just a top water on here I think that would be crazy I think that's what I'll probably do next time I come here all right this kind of concludes the video for today guys uh, I think we had a pretty good time caught a decent amount of fish I actually don't even know the number off to go back and uh, check out the footage but there were some nice ones ranging from I think one and a half pounds to three pounds uh, all on that uh, white tailed and neon tailed uh, 
Mep's Aglia, the number three. And uh, I'm stoked to be able to bring this to you guys and allow you guys to come fishing with me basically and kind of see everything that happens and how it happens. So uh, that'll, that'll uh, finish off the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time.